Non-weight bearing assessment of the subtalar joint is a popular open kinetic chain patient assessment. The subtalar joint is formed by the three articulations between the talus and calcaneus and allows for triplanar movement of the foot in open kinetic chain in the frontal, sagittal and transverse planes. These combinations of planar movements are classified as pronation and supination. Non-weight bearing examination of the subtalar joint involves assessment of the planal dominance with respect to the axis of orientation and relative movements in each of the three planes. Range of motion assessment of available inversion and eversion of the calcaneus with respect to normal values or the patient's required values. These values may differ from published for the patient to be pain free with optimal function. Results are assessed for signs of impingement, restriction or hypermobility. Quality of motion assessment of the feel of the joint through its range of motion for presence of pain or crepitus, restriction or hypermobility and assessment of end range feel. Symmetry of motion assessment, bilateral comparison to identify any asymmetry of function. Clinical tests can be performed with the patient either prone or supine. Comparison to normal published values is common. Non-weight bearing passive joint results are combined with active joint assessment and gait observations as the subtalar joint plays an important role from heel strike through to propulsion and influences the function of other joints. Management options are dependent on symptoms, pathological forces and treatment directed testing and may include physical therapies, footwear choice, prefabricated or custom orthotics. Orthotic considerations include the direction and amount of force to apply in relation to the subtalar joint axis orientation. For more information on Dollar Orthotics, visit dollarorthotics.com. Subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Instagram or Facebook.